Hello and welcome to today's video. If you are a spring colouring, today is all about you. Before we talk about colours and style, did you know spring personalities are animated and bubbly usually? They are often confident and outgoing, with a carefree and energetic attitude. Spring seasonal colours evoke a sense of freshness and lightness. Brighter colours like coral, turquoise and citrus colours bring to mind the vibrant energy of springtime. Greens and earthy tones reflect the awakening of nature after winter with shades ranging from light and airy to deep and rich. Overall, spring colours capture the joyful and hopeful spirit of the season and are often compared to a tropical scene in the sun. If you are a spring seasonal colour type, you will typically have warm undertones in your skin, hair and eyes. This means that you have a yellow or golden hue to your complexion. This colour type tends to have a light complexion with a clear, bright skin. You often have freckles and your skin can have a rosy or peachy glow. Your hair is usually light to medium in colour with warm undertones. Shades like golden blonde, strawberry blonde and copper are quite common. You usually have clear and bright eye colours that range from light blue, green, hazel or light brown. You look best in vibrant and warm colours such as coral and peach, golden yellow and aqua and turquoise. These colours bring out the warmth in your complexion and brighten your overall appearance. Lighter shades of colours are generally more flattering on this seasonal colour type. You should avoid darker, muted and cool colours as they can make you look washed out. If you are a spring, you should look for patterns and prints that complement your warm and bright undertones. Choose colours from your palette with medium contrast. True spring can handle bright and contrasting colours. Floral prints, especially in warm and vibrant colours, such as coral or yellow, are an excellent choice. Natural elements such as butterflies, dragonflies and birds are good prints also. Narrow stripes and small polka dots can be quite flattering, as long as they are not too bold or overpowering. Ditzy, creative, smaller patterns are best. When it comes to patterns, it's important to choose ones that don't clash with your natural colouring. Neutral prints, such as leopard or snake print, can work, but they should be in warm and light tones. Avoid cool and dark patterns, such as winter plaids or deep jewel tones, as they can wash out your complexion. Here are examples of some spring patterns and prints, and as you can see, they are fresh and vibrant. Listed below each dress, you will find the details. The best metal for spring is a warm yellow or rose gold. Shiny metals rather than matte finishes work best. Gemstones such as emerald, topaz, and yellow or pink tourmaline suit the spring skin tone also. Seasonal colour analysis usually has three or four categories. When talking generally about spring, we are thinking of true springs or warm springs. And as you can see here, these true spring celebrities, Cynthia Nixon, Cameron Diaz and Nicole Kidman, wear the colours beautifully. Doesn't Cynthia Nixon look really embrace the true spring colours in her style. Golds and corals, reds and turquoise, as you can see, look wonderful on Cameron Diaz and Nicole Kidman also. Light spring is midway between the spring and summer palette. The colours are cooler than spring, but warmer and brighter than summer. These types have a gentleness about them. They can wear some of the brighter pastels of summer and the lighter colours of their sister palette, True Spring, as you can see here with Taylor Swift, Kate Hudson and Alicia Keys. 
Bright springs are often warmer than winter, but cooler than a true spring. Their eyes are really bright. Celebrity examples are Oprah Winfrey, Emma Stone and Emma Watson. They have a radiance about them and can carry off the hot pinks, coral reds and warm greens beautifully. As always, styling for your occasion factors in your body shape and style personality when choosing outfits in your best colours. Start by selecting a few neutral colours that will serve as the foundation of your outfit. Cream, beige and all the shades of brown are great options for spring. You can add pops of colour once you have your base colours, adding in a few brighter colours to create interest and dimension. Pastel shades like lavender and blush are perfect for spring. Don't forget about accessories, which we've discussed before, keeping with rose gold and yellow gold. Neutrals are always great to have in your wardrobe and won't date. Ivory, cream, camel, light navy are just some of your best neutrals and will always look timeless if you are not sure about matching colours. A neutral is always a safe option. I have added the details of these outfits in the description below. You can combine any of the colours on your palette with each other, but certain combinations will look better than others. An easy way to achieve this elevated look is by pairing tints with shades of the same colour, such as beige, camel and tan, or some of the other colours I've selected here. However, as spring is naturally bright and clear, a bolder contrast may be more flattering on you. It is really a matter of preference, what you feel comfortable in and your personality. Spring needs vibrancy. Contrasting and playful colour combinations bring you alive. To achieve this look, you can combine neighbouring hues, such as yellow and green, or you can also pair colours that sit far away from each other on the colour wheel, such as orange and blue or turquoise and blue. And finally, we all want to know that colour that brings us alive. You may not like all the colours on your palette, but the whole point of colour analysis is to find the colours that flatter you best. You can certainly add colours from your sister palettes, or if there's a colour you love not on your palette, just wear it and keep it away from your face. Looking at these accent colours, have you a favourite signature colour that just says wow? If you are a spring, let me know in the comments or just let me know what your favourite signature colour is. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you'd like to see some more, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.